Sky News has decided to highlight the plight of a woman from somewhere in the Muslim world who's come to Britain and got a free house, that for her and her four kids as well. Of course, bills and food are also fitted for by the British taxpayer. Coming here is just a mental torture. There is a prison. This is wrong. This is wrong. What they're doing to people is wrong. Now, as frustrating as it is that someone will come here with their four kids in tow and then complain about all the freebies they get, it's made worse by Sky News putting on this dramatic music to try and emotionally manipulate the audience into how badly this woman is supposedly being treated. Trust me, it's not the right thing to do. Because how can you be at home and you can't even live like home? Three kids are sleeping in one tiny room. I can show it to you. Me and my baby were sleeping there. This place is just a ridiculous place they could ever offer to anybody. This is a place for animals, not for human beings. Yet it only takes a brief walk around London or any UK city for that matter to see we've got plenty of our own without homes. I'm sure many of those people sleeping rough would be delighted to have a free home like this. And it does beg the question, if this woman hates it here so much, if it's mental torture, why doesn't she just go home? Well, of course, we already know the answer to that. It's because what this woman is enduring is not mental torture. The conditions she's living in are almost certainly better than those she left from her home country. Why else would she be here? And second to that, she's picked up on something that many immigrants coming into the UK have learned. If you do the emotional sob story and I'm so badly treated, then the media and the liberal elite will start to sympathise with you and you might even get more free stuff. And in some senses, I don't even blame this woman for what she's doing. She's just trying to maximise her returns from a very naive and silly system. The real fools are us, or at least the powers that be, that allow this sort of thing to go on. We figured out that there's nothing that can be done politically about these things. The amount of immigration conversations that have been had where the public have been clear, we want mass immigration to end and we've been ignored at every turn, whether it's Brexit, the modern Tory party, we'll just be ignored and then for good measure, covered with opprobrium about how bigoted and evil we are for wanting to limit migration. My own take on this is to move away from the major cities which have been pretty much completely lost, as well as to understand that nothing's really going to change politically. This doesn't mean we have to be disheartened, doesn't mean you have to be angry with anybody or hate any group as we're constantly told if you don't go along with the multicultural dogma. It simply means that you move away from the madness, form communities and friendships and bonds outside of it and start to secure some sorts of meaning back in your life. I don't claim to have all the answers nor be able to predict the future, but it is my instinct that it's going to take calm, wise, strongly rooted British and European peoples to be able to build something of a future in this world which is rampantly being overtaken by globalisation and a political elite that don't really care about the original inhabitants of the countries they rule over. As always, though, I'd like to hear your thoughts below, and if these topics are of interest to you, please do consider subscribing to the channel.